How you going, people? Hi, Moki. All right, so I got my nephew here doing a, we'll call him Billy Bob. I don't want to put his name on the internet. Have some stalker start stalking him. Don't ever give out my information to anybody. All right, so we're on a, I wanted to go over a couple of uh, things. And since my nephew's here for the night, we're going to do a couple. This old blanket my neighbor was throwing away. I'm going to use it for smoking. So hopefully we can uh, work this. Come stand about right here so we're in a camera. So we're going to do a little baton protection here. So I've talked about how to, how to defend yourself. Somebody tries to take your baton, and this could work for a cane, a stick, anything you have in your hand. These kind of techniques will work. So first of all, if at the end, he's going to reach out and grab it one or two-handed. It doesn't matter if he grabs it one hand. It's called the slap and pull. I'm going to pull with the baton, and I'm going to slap his hand off. But it's going to be a very quick movement. So if somebody grabs my baton, I'm just going to come in here and go right across that shin bone and just rake that off, and that will pull it away. If that doesn't work, grab it again. It's called the circle of twist. And some people will tell you always twist to the thumb. Others say it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. If he grabs my baton, I'm going to circle my baton. I'm either going to go to his thumb, and he's going to let go because it's going to break it, and then I can come in and give him a strike, or I can go the other way and go this way, and he ain't hanging on, and then I can come in with a nice power chop or drive. So there's the slap and rip, and there's the twist, and then there's one more baton protection. Guys, got your baton, grab with two hands there. So you're struggling with your baton, you're struggling with your baton. There's a thing that's called the... I don't know if it's a draw or a fake. A lot of times if I want a guy to pull, I'll pull forward and he will automatically pull back. So if I want a guy to go this way, I give a fake pull forward, he'll pull back and then when I come in it's easy to throw him off balance. But what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to struggle like I don't know, I'm going to drop lower than him, point the baton straight up to his chest and or straight up to his chin and drive it forward. And if I'm lucky, I'll hit his chin. I'm not trying to hit his chin so I'm not going to hit his. But basically I got this, I'm dropping low, sliding that straight up and driving up. If Obviously, if I was closer, I would drive it into his face and get a jab, come around for a good circle strike. So those are the three basic baton protections. I'm going to do another video on gun protection and disarming. Uh, so I think that was pretty quick. Rake, circle, or drop below and jam up. So that's a quick one on defending your baton stick. Whatever you have in your hand. <laughs> All right, we'll end that there. <laughs>